previously on Game Gengo. Hello everyone and welcome back to Game Gengo, the video series where we learn Japanese through video games. In this episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake, episode 18, we're going to be heading into Sector 7 and we're going to meet up with Tifa and Marlene. Now in this episode we're going to be learning 37 new words in Japanese, and so first we go through an immersion section where we watch the gameplay, try and see how much we know, then we go through the analysis to break down the language and learn the language that was in the immersion, then we go through a review, and finally finishing off with a quiz. So let's get into the video. うん。入って、入って。マリン。父ちゃん、今夜はもうどこへも行かないから。テレビ消して。年々しよう知らない人とは喋っちゃダメって。え偉いぞ、マリー。父ちゃんとの約束を忘れなかったな。偉い。偉いぞ。じゃ、お休みの時間も守らないとな。いや、父ちゃんとお話しする。うん、特別だぞ
Tadaima! I'm home. And so the typical give and take with welcome home is I'm home. Just like in English, welcome home, I'm back, I'm home. Here in Japanese, it's okaeri and tadaima. So tadaima means I am home. It actually means right now, right? Tadaima, right now. But tadaima is a phrase used to say I am home. Home. So if you want to welcome someone home in a polite way, you say okaeri nasai, and if you want to say that you're home, you say tadaima. <laughs> and here is the casual way of saying okaeri nasai, okaeri. So Tifa here welcomes back Barrett, and so you can see that Marlene used the polite version because she's his well-behaved daughter, and Tifa is kind of on the same level, and so she just says okaeri. And this is a really common expression that you will hear in any form of Japanese media, and people living in Japan use every single day. Tadaima, okaeri, even sometimes to an empty house. <laughs> so we saw okaeri nasai, that was the polite form, and then it's just okaeri, just means welcome back. So it's an abbreviation of okaeri nasai. Have you been a good girl? Iko ni shitetaka. So iko that means good boy or good girl. I means good and then ko is just a child. So have you been a good child? Have you been a good boy or girl? And then the next part ni shiteta is ni suru. Now we've seen this in a previous episode which means kind of going for a certain result. So something ni suru means you're going to choose that kind of result or that thing. So you can actually say when you choose an item, you can say, oh, sore ni suru means you're going to do that. And so suru means to do, and then ni is the particle used to show kind of direction. So I'm going to do it in this way, kore ni suru. But you can use it in lots of different contexts. Maybe you're at a restaurant and you say, oh, kore ni suru, I'm going to choose this item on the menu. And then here, he's asking Marlene whether she has been a good girl. Iko ni steta. And then ka is just the question particle, making it a question. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I hung out with Tifa. Mm. Tifa to sondeta. So, mm, yeah, Tifa, it's Tifa. Tifa to with Tifa. And then this asondeta. So this is a confusing word for beginner learners of Japanese, but also it's confusing for Japanese people who are trying to learn English. This means play, asobu. However, it's very often used as actually hanging out with or to kind of meet up with someone. Someone to asonda is more often than not actually meaning you hung out with that person rather than played with that person. We don't usually play with people. Children might play with people, but you know, it's, it's a little bit strange to say, oh, I played with my friend yesterday. <laughs> it's a little bit strange. Now, this is a very common mistake for Japanese students of English. They will often say, I played with my friends yesterday. And it sounds very strange because they're thinking this word, the literal meaning means play, but it actually means hang out or meet up with. And so here, Marlene is not saying she played with Tifa. She's saying that she hung out with Tifa. She accompanied Tifa. She was with Tifa. Oh, so okay. oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Is that so? All right, good, good. Soka. Yosh, yosh, yosh. And so soka is actually the same as so deska. Is that so? However, it's just an abbreviation for it. And it can actually even be abbreviated even more into just soka. Ah, soka. Kind of showing surprise. Here he's saying soka. Ah, is that so? Yosh. Yosh, yosh. <laughs> so this just means good. So the word for good in Japanese we know is e. However, it was originally said as yoi. And so this yosh comes from that word, yosh, yoi, meaning good. So he's saying yosh, yosh, good, good. And so yosh is a very common expression in Japanese to kind of say, all right. And this word actually has some of the origins for the character from Super Mario, Yoshi, uh, comes from this word yosh, meaning good or all right. So he's saying, is that so? Ah, good, good, good. And in the English version, he says, oh, you did, did you? Well, well. So, you know, same kind of thing, really. Otsukaresama. Otsukaresama. So, good job today, or kind of thanks for your hard work. This is a very difficult expression to translate from Japanese into English. However, it's one of the most commonly used expressions in Japanese. <laughs> if you work in Japan, if you live in Japan, if you talk with your friends in Japan, Otsukaresama is used so commonly. So, all the way back to episode one, we learnt Gokuro-sama. Now, this means a similar meaning to Otsukaresama. 
However, Gokuro sama is kind of said from a superior being said down to their inferiors, or for example, a boss said to their worker. You wouldn't say Gokuro sama to someone who is equal. And if you did, you would come off as really arrogant and kind of up there, right? And Jesse was playing with that in the first episode, saying, you know, she's employing Cloud to do a job. And so she says, you know, Gokuro sama, good job. However, here is a much more commonly used expression to say good job or thanks for your hard work. Otsukaresama. Now in English, we don't usually say this when we meet up with someone who's had a long day. We don't usually say, oh, you did a good job today. Hmm? But you weren't here. You didn't see me. But in Japanese, it is really common. It's just a nice, polite way of saying, ah, oh, you've worked really hard. You know, good job. You've, you know, you've done a good job today. And so in English, usually you need this connection with that person, whether you experience their hardship or you know of their hardship. But in Japanese, it's just an expression used to say, you you know, you did a good job today, you know, your efforts were appreciated. And so if you have a friend that's like, oh, today was such a long day, you can say, Otsukaresama. If someone does something that you appreciate and it took a lot of effort, you can say, Otsukaresama desu. Or Otsukaresama deshita. Or even, Otsukare. And so in the English version, Tifa just says, you made it. So referring to the fact that, you know, there was the bombing and everything, it was quite dangerous. And so she's noting that he's back. Mm. <laughs> Oh. And so here Tifa comments on Cloud's little flower attached to the strap there, and she says, Hey, what's up with that? It's a real one, right? How rare. So sore means that. Doshita means what happened, right? And then the no is used to soften the question. So it's just a nice soft question. So mm, what's up with that? Sore doshita no? Honmono desho. Honmono means a real thing, a genuine article. Hon is the same hon used in honto, which means really, and mono is thing. So it's a real thing, honmono. And then desho is just saying, right, mezurashi ne. Mezurashi means rare. If you see something that doesn't happen often, you can say, oh, mezurashi ne. It's like, oh, that's unusual, that's rare. Now, in the English translation, Tifa says, where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. This is a really good translation because they've actually used the exact same points. However, they've just worded it in such a natural way in English. My translation is literal and it kind of sounds a bit weird, but the game translation, I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Perfect. That's a great translation. How unexpected, Cloud, for you to do this kind of thing. So, igai here means unexpected. So, the i means meaning, and then the guy is outside of, soto. So, it's kind of out of meaning. It's unexpected, right? Whoa! I didn't, you know, the meaning, you understand. It's unexpected. It's surprising. Igai. Dane, desne, just means right. Kuraudo. Konna koto surunda. Konna is to describe this, this sort of, this kind of. Konna koto, so this kind of thing, surunda. It is that you do it. However, she's saying it in a kind of questioning way, like, do you, you do this kind of thing? Now, in the English version, she says, how sweet, instead of how unexpected. And when did you get so thoughtful, instead of, you do this kind of thing? Which is quite similar, really. It's been five years. A little can change. So, gonenburi means in the interval of five years. However, this something buri is usually used to say, you know, it's been this amount of time. Gonenburi, it's been five years. Hisashi buri, it's been a long time. So, this buri is useful there. Gonen burida, skoshi is a little bit, skoshi wa, so as for a little, kawaru sa. So kawaru means to change. So he's saying as for a little bit, you know, it can change. A little bit can change. Skoshi wa kawaru sa. Now this sa is just a way of him being assertive, but also informative that he's telling her something that might be new. So in the English translation, he says, a guy can change, has been five years. So really the same thing again. Hey, 
Oh, that hair, <laughs> it sends tingles down my spine that, you know, mm, people who are fans of the original may know something's weird with what he just said. Don't want to spoil anything, but something is weird with the length of number of time that Cloud just stated. Five years. Hmm, interesting. And then Cloud says, Barretto ni hanashi ga aru. I have a talk with Barrett. I need to talk with Barrett. So, Barretto, Barrett, ni is to or with, and then hanashi ga aru means you have a talk, or you have a story, you have a conversation. You need to have a talk with Barrett. Uh, haite, haite. Yeah, come on in, come on in. Mm, hide there, hide there. So, mm, yes, and then hairu means to enter, to go in, right? To go in the room, hide there, please come in. And so, hide there is an abbreviation for hide there kudasai, please come in. And it's just a casual way of asking someone to do something when you put it in this te form. And she's doing it twice, hide there, hide there, meaning come on in, come on in. Okay, our first long sentence, and it comes from the little girl. She, she says, The Mako reactor exploded. The news has been talking about it non stop. Makoro ga bakuhatsu shitanda. Makoro is the maker reactor, and bakuhatsu is to explode. So we know all of that language. Zutto news bakari nano. So now we have the new language. Zutto means the whole time, non stop. Just zutto. Right, if you've been thinking about something non stop, if you've been studying constantly, you can say, right, you just constantly study. And so, this is to show that something's been going on for a long time. What has been going on for a long time? News bakari nano. So, this is saying that it's all the news has been talking about. News bakari means that it's just the constant news of the Mako explosion. So, news is news, katakana Japanese and English, and then we have bakari. This means nothing but, right? So it's been nothing but the news. The news has been nothing but this. And then the nano here is a feminine way of explaining something. Now, it does sound a little feminine. If I were to use this sentence and I were to say something nano, it kind of sounds quite effeminate. And so here she's a little girl and so it totally fits her personality and character. Just a quick thing on this nano in this last part here. So, as a general rule, you can end sentences with no, no matter what gender you are, if it's a question. So you don't have to end a question with just suru or shimasuka. You can also finish a question with no to soften it. However, when it's not a question, generally it's more female. When you're using things to explain things, it's more feminine to uh, use that language. Mari. Marlene, tonight daddy isn't going anywhere. So, Marlene, Tochan, Konya wa mo doko emo ikanai kara. So, Marlene, Marlene, Tochan, so he's calling himself daddy again. Tochan, Konya wa, as for tonight, Konya means tonight, Konya wa mo, which means any more, more, and then doko e mo. Nowhere. And so doko e mo is used with a negative. So you can already tell just at this part of the sentence, the next verb that's going to come has to be a negative because it's doko e mo. Doko e mo ikanai. So I won't go anywhere. So mo doko e mo ikanai. I won't go anywhere. Kara. So he's explaining something. So we don't quite know what he's explaining yet. We'll see that in the next sentence. Turn off that TV and let's go Betty bye. <laughs> so, Terebi keshte nennen shiona. So, here we are connecting to the previous sentence which has something kara because that situation. Let's just turn off the TV and go to sleep. Terebi kesu means to switch off the TV. You can do it with a light as well. Kesu means to turn off, to switch off a light. And so, Terebi keshte, turn off the TV, nennen shio. So nennen here is a kind of childish word to say to go to bed, right? It's bedtime, Betty buys. And then nennen shio, let's go, Betty buys. And then na is just him saying, come on, right? So come on, let's go to bed. Nennen shio na. And so just like tochan, this is a childish language. You can see here in the dictionary code where it's chn, that just means it's used in a kind of childish way. 
And so he says the exact same thing in English. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Teddy Kashte, Nen Nen Shiona. And so Cloud goes to talk to Barrett about the money, and then Marlene freaks out and she runs behind. Wah! And Barrett's like, What the hell did you do to Marlene? <laughs> so Teme, Marlene, Nani Shiagata. So Teme is a really rude way of saying you, right? You, Teme. Marlene, to Marlene, Nani Shiagata. What did you do to her? So Nani Sudu. What do you do? Then this yagadu means he's showing disdain. Now we've learnt this a lot thanks to Barrett. This is very fight language to say, how dare you do something? How dare you do something to Marlene? Marlene ni nani shiagatta? Or what the hell did you dare do to Marlene? <laughs> very cute. I'm told not to talk to strange people or unknown people. Shiranai hito to wa? So, shiranai hito means people you don't know. Shiru, to know. Shiranai, you don't know. Hito, people. So, shiranai hito, people you don't know. To wa, so as for with. To, with, and then wa, as for. So, as for with people I don't know. Shiranai hito to wa, shabet cha dame. So, shaberu, to talk. And then this cha dame. So, this is a conjugation of Te wa dame. Now, this means that you must not do something. So, something te wa dame means you cannot do something. You must not do something. It's bad to do. You can also do te wa ikenai or te wa naranai, meaning you must not do something. But this is the contracted version, so it's just cha dame instead of te wa dame. So, I must not talk. And then we have te. At the very end, this is quoting someone else's words. So te is actually a contraction for to, the quoting particle. So te and to, in the quoting sense, have a very similar relationship. It's just this one's more casual. Te. So here she's saying that someone said you must not speak to strangers. Who's that someone? Of course, it's Barrett, her father. And so, in the translation, they've caught on to that and they've said, Daddy says never to talk to strangers, because that is who told her. Huh? That's fantastic, Marlene. You didn't forget your promise with Daddy, huh? So, Erai means just fantastic, it's great. When you're really impressed with someone, you would say Erai. Just, oh, you're fantastic, you're brilliant, right? Erai, oh, so good. So Erai zo, that you're wonderful. Marin, you're wonderful, Marlin. Tochan to no yakusoku. Tochan is daddy, and then to no yakusoku. To, together, no, meaning the possessive. So together with daddy's yakusoku. Daddy's promise, or kind of a rule. So here it could be promise, or it could just be an agreement or a rule that they've made. Don't talk to strange people. So the promise, the rule that she has with her daddy, wasure nakata na, you didn't forget. Wasureru to forget, and then wasure nakata, you did not forget. Na, ha. Huh. So that's fantastic, Marlene. You did such a good job. You didn't forget our promise. Now, in the English version, he says, That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are, remembering daddy's lessons. In the English version, he does come across as a little bit surprised. That's right, honey. I do say that. <laughs> I'm not sure why he's being a little bit surprised. He he knows the promise and he's impressed that she's remembered. Um, however, in the English, they've, you know, played around with that a little. Here I go. And again, more and more praise. Excellent, excellent. Well then, we have to keep our bedtime as well. Erai, erai zo. Ja, oyasumi no jikan mo mamorenai to na. So erai, erai. <laughs> That's saying you're so good, you're so fantastic. Ja, well then, oyasumi no jikan. And so oyasumi is a phrase used to say good night when you're going to sleep. Oyasumi, good night. But oyasumi no jikan means the time when you go to bed. Bedtime, right? Just like nen nen, just not childish. Now, yasumi can actually just mean a break or a holiday. 
right? So if you have a day off work, it would just be yasumi instead of oyasumi. So the time for bed, oyasumi no jikan mo mamore nai to na. You must keep that time. Mamoru means to protect, but it also means to kind of keep something. You're keeping the time, right? She kept her promise and now she needs to keep her bedtime. And so just a very quick review here, this verb naito means that you must do something. So we've seen already in this episode that te wa dame means you must not do something and naito means you must do something. Shabe naito, I must talk. Shabe cha dame, you must not talk. And so, and so in the English version, Barrett's doing a little bit of peer pressure. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. <laughs> um, so, okay, yeah, that's just different. Rather than just praising her, saying she's fantastic, he's also saying, well, you know what other good girls do? They go to bed on time, so come on. No! I'm gonna talk with daddy. Yeah. <laughs> so this yeah is a very cute way of saying no. With dad. I want to talk or I'm going to talk with dad. And in the English version she says, but I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. <laughs> and so Barrett gives in and he says, ah, just this exception, right? So tokobetsu da zo. So tokobetsu means a kind of exceptional, a particular special case. So tokobetsu, a special something. So he's saying that this time's special. Tokobetsu da zo, it is special this time. And then the English version, a much more natural way of saying it rather than just this exception. All right, but just this once. Soda, gohan taberu. Alright, so now moving on to Tifa, and she says, Ah, soda, gohan taberu. Soda is saying, Ah, oh, that's right. So, oh, she's realizing something. Oh, soda, that's right. Gohan taberu. Gohan can mean either a meal or it can actually mean rice. <laughs> Making the distinction can sometimes be a bit difficult, um, but gohan <laughs> means both. And so she might be asking him if he wants to eat some rice, but it's a little bit too specific, and so she's clearly saying, do you want something to eat? Do you want a meal? Gohan taberu. Do you eat? Do you want something? And so in the English version she says, so then, what can I get you? Now in the Japanese, they're focusing on food, but in English it's actually just a request for anything, so leading on to the next sentence... Nah, I want to talk about my payment. And so here, leading on from the last sentence, he says, Yeah, no, hōshū, re-enumeration, or kind of a reward, his payment, hōshū no hanashi, the talk about his reward, or he wants to do it. So he wants to have the talk about remuneration. And in the English version, he says, my money, I'm still waiting on it. So when Tifa says, do you want something? He says he wants his money. Ah, so ne. Ah, so ne. Ah, right, sure. So soda means that is right. And then this so ne, she's saying, ah, right, 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 right. She's like, ah, yeah, 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 I get you, I, I know. And so the really natural way of saying this in English is ah. Right. So you can tell that she has some sort of issue with what Cloud is saying or she has something she wants to say about it. Look, Cloud, just for a little bit, let's talk outside. So, anone, Cloudo. Anone is a feminine way of saying look here or just wait a minute. Anone, Cloudo. Hey, Cloud. Chotto, soto de hanaso. So, chotto, just a little bit. Soto, so we already saw this before being used with another word that had the reading guy, but here by itself it just means soto, outside. Soto de hanaso, let's talk outside. Just for a little bit, chotto. I Okay, and so quite a philosophical question coming from little Marlene. <laughs> and so she says, as for the people that died, did they return to the planet all in one piece? Shinda hito wa chanto hoshi ni kaireta kana. So shinda hito, the people that died, shinu to die, hito is people. Shinda hito wa, as for the people that died, chanto. 
So chanto means kind of doing something properly. So here it has lots of different meanings, but at the core it has just that one meaning, to do something properly. And so to properly, hoshi ni kaeru, to properly return to the planet. Now, in English that's a strange sentence, but if you reword it a little bit, it makes much more sense to make it back in one piece. So, chanto properly, hoshi ni kaereta kana, hoshi ni to the planet, and then kaereta be able to return. And then kana is showing uncertainty. So she's asking him, is it that they return back to the planet safely? And so in the English version, she says, um, daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? So quite literally the same, just without that chanto, which really has this image of doing something properly, right? To safely make it back. Ah, <gasps> uh, yeah. So Barrett doesn't want to talk about that, and so he finishes off with just a very short... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so moving on to the review for this lesson. First up, we have Okaeri nasai. Welcome home, the polite form. Okaeri nasai. Tadaima, I'm home. Tadaima, Okaeri, welcome home. The more casual way. Okaeri, soka. Is that so? Soka. Yosh, all right. Yosh. Otsukaresama, thank you for all your hard work. Otsukaresama, sore, that thing, sore, honmono, a real thing, a genuine article, honmono, mezurashi, so rare or unusual, mezurashi, igai, so unexpected or surprising, igai, konna, like this, this sort, konna, nen buri, so it's been an interval of or for the first time in. So many years. Gonen buri for the first time in five years. Hisashi buri for the first time in a long time. And then next, kawaru to change. Kawaru hairu to enter. Hairu zuto so for the whole time zuto. Newsu the news. Newsu nano the feminine explanatory particle at the end of sentences. Nano so the masculine way would be nanda more. So already or any more, not any more, more. Doko e mo, so nowhere, not anywhere. Doko e mo. Terebi, the TV. Terebi, kesu, to turn off. Terebi o kesu, kesu. Nen nen, so bedtime or bye byes. Shiranai, you don't know. Shiranai. Erai, so great, fantastic. Erai, so good. Erai, yakusoku, so with the promise you have with someone or an arrangement. Yakusoku. Oyasumi. So good night or a break. Yasumi, oyasumi. Jikan. So the time. Sanjikan, three hours. Jikan. Tokubetsu. So special or extraordinary. Tokubetsu. Soda. Ah, right. Soda. Gohan. Cooked rice or your meal. Gohan. Hanashi o suru. So to have a talk. Hanashi o suru. Soda yo ne. Ah, that's right. Sure. Yeah, I know. Soda yo ne. Ano ne. A feminine way of getting someone's attention saying, hey, look, wait a minute. Ano ne. Soto. So the outside. Soto. And the last one, chanto. So to do something properly. Chanto. Okay, so that was quite a nice lesson. We learned a lot of really useful daily conversational words in this lesson. Nothing really too difficult, but really useful stuff. So hopefully you remembered some of that really useful language. Let's check out how well you remembered it in the quiz stage. Otsukaresama. Homo 
ものでしょ珍しいねクラウドこんなことするんだ。ないとな。Congratulations, you have now finished episode 18 of Game Gengo for Final Fantasy VII Remake, and you've learnt over 800 new words! Yay! So, hopefully, no matter what level you are, you've learnt some sort of new language. This episode was actually fairly low level, so hopefully, most of you guys found it pretty familiar, comfortable, but quite important stuff. So, hopefully, you had fun with this episode. Episode. Thank you very much for watching, as always, and a huge shout out to the supporters on Patreon. You guys are what keep this show running, so thank you so much for all of your support. It is the freaking best thing in the world. So, thank you for watching again, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Please, as always, leave a comment down in the comment section below, a like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see more of this kind of content. So, that's it for today. See you again next time.